Hello, flatties and globe defenders. It's Critical Thing from Down Under. A little while ago, I was in Thailand and I took a few pickies of some mountains and things. And, and now I got round to analysing one of these pickies to see if there's any curvature. So uh, let's take a look at that. This is the location for a photo that I'm going to show. It's at the wind farm in Pechabin province in Thailand. And the wind farm is here. Where I was standing is already marked on the map here. You can see wind turbine there. You can see one over there. So this is where, this is where I was standing and I'll just switch to leave that one there and switch to the the map and this here is one of the landmarks this temple here so uh, you go to this temple and you can see there's a photo it's it's a very distinctive temple and we'll we'll try to get uh, to see in street view uh, uh, yeah so you can this is not so hot but the the statues I'll get another picture and you can see a very distinctive statue there and we'll take a spot on the road there and the statues were under construction when that was taken and there's the temple okay now that temple is somewhere near the line of sight I'll show you now the photo the temple we were talking about is the one in the almost in the middle of the screen there that's that temple there is, just in case we need, there's another little shrine up to the left in the middle of the screen. And the um, mountain in the distance is a plateau in the distance, which is of interest to us. And it comes, that's where it is, to the right there. Now here's a close-up picture of that temple that are uh, taken so I've enhanced this photograph a little bit so that you can the mountain will stand out a little bit more I've just changed the hue and saturation a little bit and then I've cropped the photo so you can see this is the plateau in the distance that I'm interested in the height I'm interested in the height now the height here is about 800 meters I think but this one is 1200 so this is a little bit over 800 so we'll look at that in a little while this is a picture that's a little bit taken to the right there's the original temple to the left the photograph so there to the left is that plateau that I was interested in and there's more hills and mountains over there and then I've changed the hue again, hue and saturation to make that a little bit more distinct. And I've taken a little bit of a it's cropped shot. So there's that plateau that I'm interested in past the, that mountain there. Now here's Peak Finder. I get the same view from the same point. Um, there's that plateau in the middle of the screen there's this mountain that we saw in the uh, photo and there's another mountain there we saw in the photo and the observer point is the one that I marked on the map which is 1049 meters height above sea level and I think one other thing to notice from here is that peak finder can it draws the eye level in the in the picture 
<clears throat> we can see here that this is just below eye level and this peak up here is above so when I said that was about 1200 that's still above eye level um, and we're at 1049 but we still don't yet know how high this peak is over here so here's the plateau that I was talking about I found it in Google Earth it's a very distinctive mountain very distinctive shape um, parts of the elevation are at 1448 the highest point is about 1480 and I put some of these things into the Walter Bislam curvature calculator and the eye level is there just like the picture on uh, peakfinder.org the top of that mountain is below the eye level and the 1200 meter side peak there is above eye level and on a flat earth if we were to look at that um, if the earth were flat the 1480 meter high plateau would be almost at the level of 1200 meters there in the distance and it would be above eye level so you can see now i've put in the, the distance that is almost 91 kilometers to that plateau and 22 nearly 23 kilometers to that 1200 meter peak here's the google earth representation looking from the wind farm towards the plateau which is where I've drawn a path into the to the plateau so we all can also see the, the mountains to the what we saw in the photograph to the left there and there's our plateau in the in the middle so we'll traverse this path as best we can and there's that temple to the left is over here and there's our side peak this is the bump the peak bump there and I'm trying to get what the height is there so 1129 this one here we should be able to get about 1200 let me see if I can get that so, uh, let's see if Google yeah, 1221 meters here so that's about 1200 that's that bump in the in the mountain there and Try and keep going along our line, and we come to our plateau, and there we reach that plateau. Which is about it's about 1480 if I can get the right height here and I've got to tip it there, so I can 1470 14 all right so the highest point is about 1480 So that's how I identified the peak. Or plateau is more accurately described. So in terms of deciding how does that fit with, with um, flat earth and and globe earth it's um it's a little bit difficult to tell on this one because the differences are not really great 
but there are significant differences. So if we can go back to the photograph, so this is identified as 1200 meters up here, this is 1480. Now on a flat earth, that should be, because our observer height is 1050, that should be almost the same height as this 1200. There's a significant drop there, like I said, it's not dramatic, but it's a significant drop that it's far closer to the globe earth observation that you would expect than to a flat earth. Now the other difficulties with shots like these is that unless you've got some exact lineup of height somewhere, and I couldn't find that on this photo, you have to do more maths and calculations to work out exactly where the mountains should be. And the other thing is it's very hard to tell if your camera is um, side to side level. That's You cannot tell that, so you it's not the best example, but it is good enough. I think that's uh, pretty strongly in favor of the globe, especially when you look at the the simulation the simulation there that's in Peak Finder and the simulation there that's in the Walter Bislam calculator. So that's the flat earth and that's the globe. And the picture matches the globe simulation but doesn't match the flat earth simulation. And here's one more thing, my good mate. Ruhif has produced a scene in Povre which models it, this uh, terrain on a globe earth model. I've linked his channel in the description. You should go there and take a look. He's got some really good stuff and uh, he deserves more subs, that's for sure. Now I've overlaid this generated scene onto my photo and I'd say that matches very well. And that would indicate that the surface of the earth is curved because if it was flat that image would not match the mountain in the distance would be much higher but it matches so there that's a demonstration of curvature